CrossFit. CrossFit, Incorporated is a fitness company and exercise philosophy founded by Greg Glassman and Lauren E. Nye in 2000. CrossFit routines incorporate high intensity interval training, Olympic weightlifting, plyometrics, powerlifting, gymnastics, G Revoy sport, calisthenics, strongman exercises, and other exercises. It is practiced by members of more than 9,000 affiliated gyms, most of which are located in the United States, and by individuals who complete daily workouts posted on the company's website. Programming and Usage CrossFit is a strength and conditioning program with the aim of improving, among other things, cardiovascular respiratory endurance, stamina, strength, flexibility, power, speed, coordination, agility, balance, and accuracy. It advocates a perpetually varied mix of aerobic exercise, gymnastics, body weight exercises, and Olympic weightlifting. CrossFit Incorporated describes its strength and conditioning program as constantly varied functional movements executed at high intensity across broad modal and time domains, with the stated goal of improving fitness, which it defines as work capacity across broad time and modal domains. Our long classes at affiliated gyms, or boxes, typically include a warm-up, a skill development segment, the high-intensity workout of the day, or WOD, and a period of individual or group stretching. Some boxes also often have a strength-focused movement prior to the WOD. Performance on each WOD is often scored and or ranked to encourage competition and to track individual progress. Some affiliates offer additional classes, such as Olympic weightlifting, which are not centered around a WOD. CrossFit programming is decentralized but its general methodology is used by thousands of private affiliated gyms, fire departments, law enforcement agencies, and military organizations including the Royal Danish Lifeguards, as well as by some U.S. and Canadian high school physical education teachers, high school and college sports teams, and the Miami Marlins. Business Model and CrossFit Culture CrossFit, Incorporated licenses the CrossFit name to gyms for an annual fee and certifies trainers. Besides the standard two-day level one trainer course, speciality seminars include gymnastics, Olympic weightlifting, powerlifting, strongman, running and endurance, rowing, kettlebells, mobility and recovery, CrossFit kids, CrossFit football, developed by former NFL player John Welburn, self-defense and striking. Other specialized adaptations include programs for pregnant women, seniors, and military special operations candidates. Affiliates develop their own programming, pricing, and instructional methods. Many athletes and trainers see themselves as part of a contrarian, insurgent movement that questions conventional fitness wisdom. Besides performing prescribed workouts, they follow CrossFit's nutrition recommendations, adopting a paleo and or zone diet, and favor minimalist footwear. CrossFit makes use of a virtual community internet model. The company says this decentralized approach shares some common features with open source software projects and allows best practices to emerge from a variety of approaches, a contention that is disputed by some competitors and former affiliates. History and Contributors Greg Glassman founded CrossFit, Inc. in 2000. The first affiliated gym was CrossFit North in Seattle, Washington. There were 13 by 2005 and are more than 9,000 today. Coaches associated with CrossFit include Louis Simmons, Bob Harper and Mike Bergener. Glassman retains complete control over the company after a divorce resulted in his estranged wife, Lauren, attempting to sell her share in the company. Glassman was able to obtain a $16 million loan from Summit Partners to buy out her share. Common CrossFit Equipment CrossFit gyms utilize equipment from multiple disciplines. Barbell, standardized to either 20 kg or 15 kg. Bumper plates, rubber bumper plates manufactured to withstand extreme stress. Gymnastic rings, jump rope, kettlebell, medicine ball. Plyo box, resistance band, rower, ab mat. 
Common CrossFit Movements CrossFit is focused on constantly varied, high-intensity, functional movement. Examples with brief descriptions can be found below. Miscellaneous CrossFit Games The CrossFit Games have been held every summer since 2007. Participation and sponsorship have grown rapidly. The prize money awarded to each first place male and female increased from $500 at the inaugural games to $250,000 in 2011 to 2013. Winning the 2013 Reebok CrossFit Games now nets $275,000. Athletes at the games compete in workouts they learn about only hours beforehand, sometimes including surprise elements that are not part of the typical CrossFit regimen. Past examples include a rough water swim and a softball throw. The games are styled as a venue for determining the fittest on earth, where competitors should be ready for anything. In 2011, the games adopted an online format for the sectional event facilitating participation by athletes worldwide. During the CrossFit Open, a new workout is released each week. Athletes have several days to complete the workout and submit their scores online, with either a video or validation by a CrossFit affiliate. The top CrossFit Open performers in each region advance to the regional events, held over the following two months. As of 2013 there are 17 regional divisions, including 12 in North America, Northwest, Canada West, Canada East, North Central, Central East, Northeast, Mid-Atlantic, Southeast, South Central, Southwest, Southern California, and Northern California, and five in the rest of the world, Europe, Asia, Africa, Latin America, and Australia. The top athletes, up to three of each gender, from each region are eligible to compete in the CrossFit Games. The games include divisions for individuals of each gender, and for a number of master's age groups, 40 to 44, new in 2013, 45 to 49, 50 to 54, 55 to 59, and 60 plus, as well as for co-ed teams comprising three men and three women. Masters competitors qualify for the games based on performance in the CrossFit Open, there are no masters regional events. Ties are broken by the best individual event by the competitor, followed by second best, etc. until the tie is broken. This was needed to declare Craig Howard the winner in the men's 50-54 division in 2013. CrossFit communities organize local, regional and even international events, workouts and competitions. Effectiveness a 2010 U.S. Army study conducted during a six-week period produced an average power output increase of 20% among participants, measured by benchmark WODs. The average one-repetition maximum weight deadlift increased by 21.11%. Criticism According to Stuart McGill, a professor of spine biomechanics at the University of Waterloo, the risk of injury from some CrossFit exercises outweighs their benefits when they are performed with poor form and timed workouts. He added that there are similar risks in other high-intensity exercise programs but noted that CrossFit's online community enables athletes to follow the program without proper guidance, increasing the risk of improper form or technique. Makimba Mims, who suffered injuries while performing a CrossFit workout on December 11, 2005, at Manassas World Gym in Manassas, Virginia, under the supervision of an uncertified trainer, claimed that CrossFit poses an elevated risk of rhabdomyolysis. He successfully sued his trainers and was awarded $300,000 in damages. Articles on many websites allege that CrossFit exercise sequences are illogical and random and lack periodization. Furthermore, they claim that accreditation standards for trainers and affiliates provide little quality control. One publication has raised the concern that CrossFit promotes a potentially dangerous atmosphere that encourages people, particularly newcomers to CrossFit, to train past their limits, resulting in injury. Rhabdomyolysis prevalence As early as 2005, the New York Times documented rhabdomyolysis associated with the culture of CrossFit in an article entitled Getting Fit, Even If It Kills You. 
there's no way inexperienced people doing this are not going to hurt themselves, a sports medicine specialist is quoted in the piece. CrossFit Level 1 trainers are certified through the American National Standards Institute. Since May 2005, CrossFit has published several articles about rhabdomyolysis in their online CrossFit journal, which is not peer-reviewed. Three of the articles are included in the CrossFit manual provided to all prospective trainers. In a further attempt to raise awareness of the problem, CrossFit, Incorporated also used to sell Uncle Rabdo t-shirts, featuring a cartoon clown dying in a dramatic fashion, hooked up to a dialysis machine, with his kidneys and intestines falling on the floor. Wilford Hall Ambulatory Surgical Center ran a medical review of USAF basic trainees with a population of 198,399 and witnessed 44 cases of exertional rhabdomyolysis. These training facilities are located in San Antonio, Texas, at Lackland AFB, where temperatures in the summer months routinely exceed 100 degrees Fahrenheit, coupled with the rigors of exercise designed to push recruits to the limit. As of 2005, when Greg Glassman wrote his article on the status of rhabdomyolysis within CrossFit, there had only been five occurrences.